What's up, MetaHumans? I'm Laurie Winton. That's Peter Speroni. Together, we are the Web3 Attorneys. Today, we're going to talk about Disney and how they are in the target zone by a senator who is trying to strip them of their copyright to Mickey Mouse. But it's not just about Disney. This actually could affect millions and millions of copyright holders across the country. Uh, and when I brought this to you yesterday, Peter, you were kind of dumbfounded by like how this is even a conversation at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I think that this is, um, you know, there's been so much going on with Disney um, recently in the news in regards to the quote unquote, uh, don't say gay bill. Um, how, you know, I mean, it's the, that particular language isn't in there. Um, but, uh, you know, the effect of it um, is uh, under great dispute. So this particular effort uh, by Senator Holly seems to be interesting and, and, and seems to target, well, he says that it, um, targeting, you know, woke uh, corporations, as he puts it. Um, but I feel like this is more aligned with his political ambitions than Absolutely. it is with something that makes sense. Um, there's been talks that he's going to run against Governor Santis in the Republican primaries for president. Um, but I mean, that's not been completely established yet, but that's part of, of, of some of the thoughts here from the political landscape that he's he's doing this to give him an edge over DeSantis. I don't see how this is related to at all uh woke corporations as they say i i just don't i don't get it it's it's um, really dumb it and i see i see i understand like the political bs they're fighting over this over here aside like we're yeah. we're not even here to discuss the don't say gay bill that's over here what he is doing with mm -hmm. this affects a whole different group of folks that are now going to get caught in the crossfire between him and Disney. And it could cost people legitimately cost people their family legacies when it comes to copyrights and their creations and their family's creations that were, you know, birthed by their minds to, to benefit their family and their offspring and, and their family and friends. Right. So to get into the meat of what's going on, Basically, we'll keep it basic. Senator Holly is proposing a bill that would cut copyright protection for copyrighted materials owned by corporations from 95 years of protection to 56 years of protection. That would put this right here, Steamboat Willie. If you know Steamboat Willie, this is the first depiction of Mickey Mouse uh, created in 19... 28 it was featured in a short film by disney called steamboat willie this is the first depiction of it this would throw mickey mouse the first depiction in immediately into the public domain but it wouldn't just be mickey mouse that would get put thrown into the public domain it would be anyone else who owns who has a corporation an llc whatever a business that owns a copyright that falls outside of that 56 year mark your copyright would then be thrown into the public domain there's one caveat in the bill, though. Yes, there's one caveat in the bill, though. It's for companies that have a valuation of $150 billion or more. So that's important here. So this wouldn't have the effect. And first off, I do not think that first they've asked other uh, even uh, same party Republican senators to make a comment about this proposed bill, and they have not yet. Um, I don't think this is going to get a lot of traction. I think this is more of a political move, like I said, but uh, it would cap it, uh, this copyright protection at the 56 year mark for corporations worth $150 billion. So this is not your everyday songwriter. This is not so, your everyday. But this is my artist. argument to that is how does this affect the downstream licensing agreements that they have with those smaller artists who are, who, who, own these copyrights because they may be in some kind of agreement with those corporations where they did retain some kind of ownership over it they co-own some kind of copyright with that company 
um yeah this so, definitely yeah, yeah. will affect more than just disney yeah we talk about the concept of a chain of title um a lot on here in regards to you know the the um the intellectual property rights that are associated with copyrights are what lawyers refer to as a bundle of sticks each stick within the bundle gives you a, another kind of right underneath the authority of the copyright so um yes i mean th there'd be a consideration of the downstream uh yes however corporations that are 150 billion dollar corporations um have almost absolute control over ownership uh and that includes with any you know designers graphic designers uh people that have designed characters for them over the years there's no real flexibility or grant of authority to those that they work with when you're working with disney in other words if you're designing something for disney make no mistake it is property of disney not yours but yes will this affect the uh royalty mechanisms that are in place in current licensing agreements where third parties do benefit from the revenue generated from the copyright yeah that's a that that's a a an interesting question because once something comes public do becomes some uh public domain you know that authority and control over that uh once it's removed that's going to affect agreements that are in place so how that will affect them uh, if it's passed, I, I, first off, I do not see this passing either the I House agree. or the Senate. They don't have the votes there um, at all, unless the midterms greatly change that. But I don't think copyrights, honestly, they never are, other than the Music Modernization Act. Um, I don't think copyrights are going to be a hot button <laughs> campaign issue come November for the midterms by any means. No, not at all. Um, I think this is just actually, you know... Yeah. I Republican or Democrat, and I watch a lot of the legislative hearings, the the importance of bicameralism, the impor importance of having two parties is because you have a push and pull on policy. You know, it's the kitchen sink that each side argues for. And within that kitchen sink are a lot of elements that the majority of Americans might agree with. So whether you're Republican or Democrat, you know, they're fighting for their constituents and they're representing their constituents' uh, wants. That's why they were elected. This seems to be so much more politically motivated than anything else. That's why I, I actually think that this might discredit Holly in that respect, because it's sort of like... It's out of really? left field. Like, like, like the, it, yeah, I mean, is it is it really that important to try and hammer down an extra penalty on yeah. this um i don't get it i don't and get the the play of it and, and for us it's important because we're intellectual property entertainment attorneys but like i yes i agree with you in that i don't i don't think there's going to be any traction with this going forward for some godforsaken reason it does pick up traction and some reason like it starts moving forward this is definitely something to keep an eye on because does it stop at just going after the you know um cutting the copyright protections for corporations does it then stop because let's 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 be real when it comes to disney disney has had a history of influencing the amount the the length of time that you are your copyright exists your copyright protections oh exist. they they've defended and policed their copyrights like no other company in the world since I mean, 1928 they have that on lock so uh, Steam, yeah. yeah so steamboat willie was created in 1928 it was at that time copyright protection for corporations intellectual property asset copyright lasted for 56 years that means that in 1984 steamboat willie mickey mouse would have fallen into the public domain right before it did they lobbied and secured the passage of the Copyright Act of 1976. That pushed copyright protections to 75 years to 1998 for Steamboat Willie, uh, Mickey Mouse. So in 1998, Disney again pushed back, delayed Mickey Mouse falling into the public domain again. 
uh, when they secured the Copyright Term Extension Act of 1998, which extended at that point copyright laws to where they are now to 95 years. And this is for um, this is from their original publication date. And this is for copyrights that are owned by corporations. The length of times are different for who owns it. So individuals, mm -hmm. if you are um, anonymous or using a, a, you know, a different name, a pseudonym, the, 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 and when it was published, how's like all that accounts for how long it, so this is particularly for how long cor uh, for corporations who own uh, the copyright that are worth $150 billion. So there's really uh, right. four that we know will definitely be affected. Uh, Netflix, Comcast, Apple, um, those are some of the heavy hitters. There's other companies in there that are worth around that much. Um, so that would also f affect them as well. Um, but, you know, this, this just seems this just seems like a political game more it's than silly. anything else. And and that's what I hate is because it wastes the time of people. I understand the 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 concept behind public domain, giving people uh, access and ability to, you know, uh, use the material in some way. But in a way, it's sort of outdated. And back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, we didn't anticipate digital downloads and we didn't anticipate all of the mechanisms we have in place from a technological perspective that would help um, a company protect its its copyrights and so now here we have all these mechanisms in place and and disney is notorious for enforcing their their copyrights um so that the, the idea that something can terminate if it's assigned over the years has always been difficult for me to, I guess, get my head wrapped around into mm -hmm. the, the overall benefit. Is it beneficial to do that? Who does it benefit? Um, so it's, but yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. I just, I don't see this getting any traction and I, I don't feel either. like it's sort of like, really? You're coming <laughs> for Mickey Mouse? <laughs> right. Like, exactly. Exactly. That's leave the... Mickey Mouse out of this. <laughs> <laughs> he has nothing to do with this. Uh, no. But the last thing before we wrap it up is like, I think people should keep in mind, like I, I do a lot of the TikToks, as you know, Peter. And one of the comments that I get a lot from like weird, nameless, followless, videoless accounts is like copyright law is stupid. And I think people like miss the whole point of copyright law and that yeah. a it's there to protect you and your creation so that other people can't swoop in and steal it and say it's theirs. But also the way that it's set up is to so that your creations that you create now can benefit your heirs, the people that come after you die, um, yeah. because as an individual, um, your copyright lasts for as long as you live. So the length of the author's life plus like 70 years, I got to check and, and make sure, but it's like 70 years beyond mm -hmm. your death. So that's plenty of time for your kids and your spouse, for everyone that comes behind you to be able to benefit from your work even beyond the grave. Yeah. And, and we fight for musicians and artists and designers all the time and it's so important to protect and encourage people to protect uh intellectual property because you know when they say copyrights are stupid they don't they don't understand what they are i mean very right. few really do um it's protecting the intangible mm -hmm. uh aspect of your creations that's really important for a society because our our ideas although ideas can't be copyrighted the expression of those ideas assuming they're original in a fixed medium uh of expression is copyrightable so that's important for our society because people are cool and we think of cool things and yes. those cool things inspire people and give people hope and heal so yes we should protect them even though they're intangible yeah, because yeah. that just that 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 inspires people to keep creating, because if you're creating and somebody's stealing what you're creating, then your creativity is stifled and you're like, oh, why the hell am I creating stuff? People are just going to steal it. I'm not going to create anything anymore. You'd see people leave the art and entertainment world because there'd be no money in it um, to make 
So the it's interesting copyrights in in the constitution in the copyright uh, clause constitute from a constitutional perspective are 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 protected on in 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 that founding document. So mm -hmm. it's important for the promotion of ideas and sciences and thought and expression artistic expression that's very important for our society yep you guys let us know what you think about uh mickey mouse being in the crosshairs of politics at the moment uh Maybe leave a comment <laughs> free you free. can't start free you can't start free mickey uh hashtag because gonna, yeah that's what this bill would do <laughs> free free, free my man mickey free my yeah. man ricky uh yeah leave that down below free my man mickey in the in the comments uh <laughs> hit the like button hit the subscribe button uh i'm laurie winton that's peter speroni together with the web3 attorneys uh and we'll see you guys next time